Our topic today says, run to win. Run to win. Let's see 1 Corinthians 9 verse 24. It says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that he may obtain. Run that ye may obtain. So you run to win. You don't run to lose. In the world system, many are running to win. And in the kingdom of God, we also be called to do what? To run that we may what? Obtain. That means the day you got born again, a race was set before you. From that day you got born again, the Lord God set a race in front of you. And now we're going to understand what it means to run that race and how to win. For you're going to be a winner man always. So it says, and therefore, so run, not as uncertainly. So fight, not as one that would be the air. Which means people that you see fighting in the, in the worldly system, people that do race and do all this in, the, in this earthly realm, they're only doing it as one that beats into the air. It doesn't profit any man. It doesn't profit you anything because if you can't have it for internal, so what's not the essence of it? If you only have something for like, you know, maximum of 1,000 years or even 100 years, the person might probably live on earth. And then at the end of it all, you can't and take it alongside, you know, you can't enjoy it forever. Then there's, no, there's no need for it. But you and I will run the race so we can win an incorruptible word, crown. That means... What we are going to be obtaining as, a, as we win this race, it lives with us forever because it's of the spirit, not of the earthly realm. The Bible shows you what to do to be at the top of your game. Become temperate in all things. Exercise self-control. Like an athlete, there are things you should do and there are things you shouldn't. Just so you can keep in form. Those athletes do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we do ours for an incorruptible crown. Hallelujah. So if you look at it that way, this, this, this is showing us what the scripture we read earlier says what, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Temperate in all things means that they are striving for mastery. That means they want to come out first. They all want to obtain the results. And that temperate in what? In, in what? That temperate in all things, which means that they put self-control. Because an athlete who wants to win the crown will not go eating anyhow, anyhow. Though his body might be craving for it, but he is not allowed to eat anyhow because he knows that the race that is going to be running the next day. An athlete that knows that he has a race to run will not go taking alcohol that will weaken his system because he's aware of the race going to run the next day. So he will control, have self-control intact. So it's temperate in all things. Talking about self-control. So you're going to understand that this race that is set in front of us, that we should run and win, is the race of what? Having self-control over the desires of the flesh. Because we being born again, we have been brought into a race. And the race we have been brought into is that is based on what? There is an enmity between the flesh and the spirit. Remember that you are still in this flesh, but now you are born again. You have the Spirit of God inside of you. And there is something about the flesh that craves. The, the, the flesh craves for things that offend the Spirit. And if and then the Spirit hinders it. The Spirit of God that is in you hinders that thing that the flesh is craving for. For manifesting in you. You see that? Now, if you look at from Galatians 7 verse 17. Galatians chapter 7 verse 17. It says, When your self-life craves the things that offend the Holy Spirit, you hinder, you hinder him from living free within you. So your self-life is craving for something, but the Holy Spirit of God is what? In you is hindering you from what? Fulfilling the desires of the, of the, what? Of the flesh. And the Holy Spirit's intense, cra- intense cravings hinder your self-life from dominating you. So you see that there's a fight between your flesh desires and the desires of the Spirit of God that is in you. That have come, by the, that have come from the Spirit of God that is in you. Now, reading for that, it says, So then, the two incompatible and conflicting forces within you are your self-life of the flesh and the new creation life of the Spirit. Your self-life of the flesh and the new creation life of the Spirit. So you, you now you have the choice to make. 
Which one do you, where do you heal yourself to? Because there's a race set in front of you. All of us are called to run this race, to obtain the prize. So you are the one to put what? Temperance in all things. Put self-control in place. Just the way a man, an athlete, will not go eat any health thing because she understands or he understands that there is a race in front of him or she. So you have to put self-control intact so that you can run and you can run to win. You will not run to fail, you will run to win. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you look at the book of Philippians 3, verse 12 to 13, it says, I admit that I haven't yet acquired an absolute fullness that I am pursuing. But I run with passion into his abundance so that I may reach the purpose for which Christ Jesus laid hold of me to make me his own. So you run with passion into the, what is abundance so that you, I, may reach the purpose for which Christ Jesus laid hold of me to make me his own. I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. However, I do have one compelling force. What is that force? It says, I forget all the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. So you have to forget the past and fasten your heart to the future instead. That means what? Every day you live to crucify your flesh. Every day you live to heal to the Spirit of God. It is not something based on, uh, that I've done that yesterday. Oh, yesterday I was able to heal myself to the Spirit of God. And uh, today I can let me just satisfy the flesh more. No. You don't give any room to the flesh. You put your flesh under, you, you walk under self control. Put your, your flesh where you must be. The cravings of your self life. Of the flesh. You put it where it must be. So they can heal totally to the things of the Spirit of God. Every day is a new day. Don't depend on what you have done in the time past and say, yes, I've done these things in time past. Now what the man of God is showing us here. He says what? However, I do not, I do one compelling focus. That's one compelling focus. And that focus is what? I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. Don't say, yes, in time past, I've done this, I've done that, I've done that. Your righteousness will speak for you for the time past. So that today or for and today now you can go and mess up, mess, up, mess up in the world. And think that because of what you've done in time past, your righteousness, your righteousness in time past. Yes, that you have, you have healed to the Spirit of God in time past. That somehow you are winning the race or you are, you, are, you, are, you are good to go. No, don't think in that manner. That means what? Every day is a new day. We must run to win. Every day we remind ourselves that we must not, I must not heal to the things of the flesh. I put my flesh under self-control. I put my self, my, my self-life under control. It says what? My, this, the self-life of the flesh under what? Control. I healed myself to the Spirit of God. That's what the Lord desires of us. The Bible shows us what to do to be at the top of your game. Become temperate in all things. Exercise self-control. Like an outlet, there are things you should do and there are things you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Just so you can keep informed. So you must keep informed your spirit being by doing the right things only. Those outlets do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we do ours for an incorruptible crown. That means there's a reward for doing these things. By you healing to the spirit of God, there's an internal reward that it brings to you. First of all, you're going to be enjoying your internal life on this earth. You want to be as light as possible so you can win the race that's in front of you. If an athlete is given a weight to carry, he or she cannot win the race with ease. He or she may not even win the race because the weight is carrying will hinder him. So for you not to be hindered, you must let go of the things of the flesh, the desires of the flesh. You must kill the desires, you must keep it under subjection. So you, must, you, must let, you must have that self-control work in your life so that you have nothing that weighs you, that you can run and win. You can run and win. So that tomorrow, anywhere, anytime, you are found where, as a man of what? Walk in the spirit. You do not walk in the, things, in the flesh. You do not fulfill the desires of the flesh. But you are given to the things of the spirit. That's how you stay winner man all the time. 